Hi, my name's Dan Jones. I've got the privilege of being the Searchlight Archivist here at Northampton. I've been working on the collection now since it came here around two years ago. We have a wonderful collection here. It's really great for researchers to come down. We do encourage anyone to come and use it um, and to come and see what we've got. The collection consists of around 500 already made up boxes. We have enough material for several hundred more. And these contain everything from runs of far-right magazines, runs of magazines from the anti-fascist movement, leaflets, ephemera that's produced, things that you won't find anywhere else, the things people put in their bins 40 years ago, the things that Searchlight found, they recovered and they saved uh, for us to use now. But we also have things that you can't, you could never have found any, find anywhere else. We have the correspondence between leading members of the far right. We have their, you know, the personal records, and we have things that just will really bring history alive to researchers and allow them to really get into these these figures and these movements and understand what drove them at the very heart. As well as postgraduate and other researchers, we also, of course, encourage undergraduates to come and use use the archive and see what they can find. We have great runs of magazines that would make superb undergraduate projects, undergraduate dissertations. And really, it's one of the advantages of studying here at the University of Northampton that you can get access to such a, a world-class resource. All our catalogue is available online. That's word searchable. Obviously, the catalogue still is a work in progress because we really are working through the huge amount of material that we've got. But if they people want to send me an email at daniel.jones at northampton.ac.uk, I'm happy to help with any research requests, look through the unaccession material, and really find out for people if we've got what they need. There is a small form people have to fill in to request access, but it's very simple, and if people find it on the website or they give me, drop me an email, I'm happy to send that out and also to help people uh, with the process and explain it to them. The archive is located on Park Campus uh, and is in the Grendon building. If we're happy to book people a parking space, want to come and visit, or the park campus is on major bus routes and is accessible uh, from the train station. We are really happy to welcome anyone here to the archive and we really want to help people access it because we recognise how important a resource it is, not just for academics but for wider society and in researching these movements and how they've impacted us for the past 60 years. <laughs>